Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Force here with some more Hearthstone. Today we're gonna be doing some more ladder climbing, and I'm gonna be playing my trusty old warrior control deck. Ah, it's the favorite. You might be thinking, Force, we see this way too often. You're always playing warrior control. I know, because it's my favorite. <laughs> it's like my favorite type of deck, so. Uh, you know, I think, do we just go straight Fiery War Axe? Do we do it? Uh, or we could coin armor smith, but that's I don't like that as much. Let's just go straight fiery war axe Hit that Take no damage get rid of his big old dude And this will give us a follow-up for whatever he could potentially play this turn uh, And then next turn we can armor smith follow that up with an acolyte of pain I like that or even armor smith next turn and then a cruel taskmaster the turn after uh, who Really tapping you know why he's tapping he's tapping because he doesn't want to play uh, he doesn't want to play something that is just going to get killed. So I'm guessing he's looking to play two things in one turn, probably a Void Walker plus whatever he's trying to protect. Uh, I'm going to assume that's going to be sort of the the order here. Uh, what he doesn't know though is I can Taskmaster pass this, which I think I'm going to do that. Um, Taskmaster, or, or just take the, let's see, take two from that. So I can hit that, and then do that, and then ping that, or I can ping her, hit into that, and then swing for that. Let me actually do it this way. Try to maximize the number of pings. Try to maximize the uh, what I get from that. Yes, he can certainly mortal coil this or whatever, um, but it, I, if that's the case, then I still would have gotten a, a bit of armor. I still would have gotten the three armor out of a total. So yeah, we're going to get three, ar three armor out of a total. And let's see what else he's going to play for three. He could potentially drop down two things here. Now it looks like it is just going to be the Harvest Golem. So, why don't we Acolyte of Pain, and then I'll hit him for two. Uh, so we're off to a fairly decent start in the sense that we've been clearing his board and stopping him from doing much damage at all to us and we do have the two shield blocks sylvanas windrunner is going to be very nice here in this matchup so i'm going to get a clear for that so i can ping that and that's going to give me two draws off of the acolyte and i'm pretty sure that's what i want to do yeah i want to save the execute for the big the big threats which will undoubtedly be coming in the future so we're going to get two draws off of that um, let's just go ahead and play down this and armor up. I also could have played the Death's Bite, but I'm I'm okay with holding on to that. He might have a trigger for his egg, so the Death's Bite will allow me to just grab that. All right, so let's see here. He's gonna clear. Oh wow, he's gonna actually get a lot out of this here. Hmm. Ooh, the Mortal Coil. All right, well. Well, we'll have to see what we draw into here before I make any decisions. All right, there's Ragnaros. And then he's going to clear the 1-3 with his 3-2. And then hit me with the 1. So, let's see here. Oh, this isn't, this is good. Uh, go with this plus the weapon. And with the weapon, I am actually not going to attack right now. Not going to attack quite yet. So the 3-1 the is going to die when the ghoul dies, so he's probably just going to throw it into it. And I didn't want to trigger the egg and let him attack me for 4. It's, so it's, it's, it's basically basically what I'm thinking here. So he's gonna do that, that makes sense. I might have to throw out one of my executes early. I really would not want to do that though. I, I guess here's just hoping we draw into a whirlwind. I mean, we've we've got the we've got the whirlwind on our death's bite. It's just a matter of when we get it through. Um, I might go with an execute here and then punch the egg. I think that's what I might have to do. This is this is starting to hurt really quick. All right, um, can Black Knight punch the egg, and this gives us a body in play. Is that what I want to do? Yeah, and and we can also drop one of our executes. 
Um, which I am going to do because he, this is just too scary. I need to I need to get rid of some of his threats that, that he's staring at me with, you know what I mean? So Alright, so let's see what he's got here. Now we do still have the two shield blocks to help us out. I wonder if he's going for the yeah, he's gonna be going for the board here. Alrighty. Gosh, this is so painful. Alright, we're at 19 now, and he's at 17. Now, we do have the double shield block. Oh, this is good. This is real good. We're gonna pop that. This whirlwind. And then we're gonna get another, um... I have no time for games. We're gonna get another whirlwind to finish off his one health minions from our unstable ghoul. Sylvanas, in case he plays something big, I want to steal. This is perfect. I mean, unless he silences this ghoul, he's losing everything he has here. He's going to get the two one ones back, but... This is absolutely perfect. I'm feeling really good about this game right now. Uh, especially with the double shield block. I, I don't see him... He, he has to silence our unstable ghoul to basically not be completely screwed and lose his board here. Again, with the exception of the, uh, the two one ones that he will get. All right, so he goes in with that. Um, that was not... <laughs> uh, that was not the order he wanted to attack in. Not even a little bit, <laughs> I don't know. Is this a bot? Or was that just a really bad play? I don't know, I kind of want to say that was just a really bad play, but it could very well be a bot. Alright, how about I go like this? Let none survive. And then, like that. Right. So now we've got two Sylvanases. And we have Fatal for next turn. Ragnaros in hand, the double shield block. Uh, you know, 16 damage. Let me think. Leroy for 5. Power overwhelming. Soul fire is only 14. So we'd have to find 2 more damage on top of that. Plays a Dark Iron Dwarf. Shadow Flames. Still feeling alright though. If he's got nothing else to play, we're going to Ragnar's his face. And that'll be the victory. See if he has anything else to play. Even if, uh, even if he does play something right now. All right. So we're gonna have a 50-50 chance here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rag and armor up, I think, and go for the potential victory here. The 50-50. See if we get it. Come on, Lady Luck. Thank you very much. Game number two is going to be against a Shaman. Let's get rid of the Black Knight. We'll hold on to the Armorsmith and the Fiery War Axe. Two early drops. We get the Execute as well, which can be especially good if he plays anything crazy early on, which Shamans can do. Things like the Earth Elemental, for example. Be nice to have. Okay, that's annoying. Um, so we're just going to Fiery War Axe that because it's obviously just going to get bigger. And I don't want to deal with it. Uh, so we'll just get rid of it right now. The other option would have been to play the armor smith, but he could have potentially done a situation like So he, he could have played that, but he also if he had a um, I'm gonna go like this and I think I'll actually hold on to the weapon attack uh, The other thing I'm thinking is if he had a rockbiter weapon He could have thrown that on the undertaker killed the armor smith and I only would have gotten a single value out of it, which is not ideal so Right, he's gonna hit me with that, really? Be a bit surprising. Yeah, there you go. That's a good choice. That's a good choice. Now, at this point, since he's got the kill for it, potentially save it by using the weapon attack. I think I'm actually gonna do that. Cause I I'm I'm staring at a situation where if he doesn't kill it this turn, then I can protect it with the sludge belcher. 
Whereas he would have had a guaranteed kill for it with his 2-1 loot hoarder. So this gives me the opportunity to get more than just one more value out of the armor smith. And that's, uh, that's basically the chance that I'm taking here. Here comes a 5 drop. A sludge belcher of his own. Okay, so this is perfect. So we're going to play our sludge belcher. And this gives us the extra value out of that armor smith. That's exactly what we were looking for there. You know, sands a earth shock to either the sludge belcher or the armor smith. I still am going to want to hold on to my executes. Uh, this, oh, oh, that's not good. Uh, that's not good. I think we might be staring at a brawl turn, my friends. I think we might be staring at a brawl turn. And to give ourselves the maximum chance, we are going to... Let me actually, I'm going to actually throw down the execute for that. And then... We are going to brawl. I know he's going to be... He's going to get two one ones out of it, at least. But what I was staring at was not good either. So, ah, uh, this is just fine. This is just fine. Yeah, that's just fine. I'll take that. I think that's. I think that was a value brawl. Uh, Sludge Belcher, Undertaker, Haunted Creeper. Yeah, totally, 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 totally. I can dig it. All right. I think we're gonna pop that with our Taskmaster. I know I've got the Gromish combo here, but um, I think this works. Let's go ahead and draw a card. Gain some armor. And then it's armor up. Yeah, I think that works. I think that works quite well. Oh man, that, that was a that was an awesome brawl, I gotta say. Alright, Karen. Karen is very difficult for us to deal with. Very, very difficult for us to deal with. Let me think here. Uh, we've got the Death Bite. You know, I could Ragnaros here, hilariously enough. Or we could just go with the Sludge Belcher. I don't think Ragnaros is actually terrible here, because it's got a 50% uh, 50 chance to deal with one of the Cairns. And then we could Death Bite to take care of the other one. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna actually go with this. I mean, we, we could play the Sludge Belcher, we could also Death's Bite and then like attack into it. We've got other options, but I kind of like this, because especially if he doesn't have Hex right now, we could get some huge value out of this. If he if he isn't sitting on Hex in his hand. And, and sort of the longer I wait for Ragnaros, the more opportunity I give him to draw into Hex. So that's sort of my line of thinking there. And then if he uses it on the rag, then we've got a safe Gromish Hellscream, and uh, we've got a Sarah in the deck, a whole bunch of... Okay, so it looks like he does have the Hex. And unfortunately, we hit him in the face, or the, the, the rag shot hit him in the face, so... Not looking great here. Okay, I would have been really upset if that was the taunt. I'm gonna go like... This. Gonna go with our double taunt threat here. I was the other option for last turn was to death's bite, attack that, and then cruel taskmaster for the second iteration. But this gives me another opportunity to clear the first iteration and then clear him for good after that. What I'm not liking though is I'm in the position where I'm about to fully dump my hand, which is not... which is no bueno. Um, thinking of just playing a Sarah here. He just used one hex, so I think the likelihood of him having a second hex right now is small. Pretty small likelihood that he's got a second Hex right now. If he does, I'm going to be super miffed. <laughs> like, you have no idea how upset I'm going to be if he's sitting on a second Hex. There's a Sylvanas. I can bounce that back to his hand. Which I'm going to, like, have to, basically, so...
And let's go. Ugh. Maybe, you know what? I'm actually gonna go for his face. I'm gonna I'm gonna swing for the face here. Cause we are in a position where we can win next turn if he doesn't throw down a taunt. Oh boy. Oh boy, we are in a very good potential win situation here. First, I, I was spending a, a bit of last turn contemplating clearing some of his stuff, like taking care of Karen, but then I realized how close we are to a potential finish. There's an Earthshock. That's fine. It's still a creature in play. Let's see if he's got Argus here. Alright, so he's gonna get that back. Please don't have Argus. Oh, for the love of God. So va oh yeah, buddy! Oh my gosh, all right, let's do it to the max. Let's do it to the max. Bam, ba bam, 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 just like that. Thank you very much. Oh, it's so good. GG. Alrighty, my friends, that is going to do it for this Ladder Climb video. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's been a very slow climb for this October season. Uh, truth is, you know, I haven't been playing a ton of Hearthstone. It's not that I've completely put the game away, but I've taken a bit of a break as I've been wrapped up in Destiny and just some of the other stuff going on. Uh, but fret not, we're definitely going to get back into it sooner or later. I expect the deck spotlights to start coming out again eventually uh, as things start to slow down in the coming months. Really, the next big title that's coming out that I'm going to put some time into is Dragon Age Inquisition, but besides that, uh, we're probably going to be coming back to good old Hearthstone very soon. So thanks for uh, sticking it, uh, sticking with me here. Uh, more Hearthstone and other great stuff coming up, guys. I'll see you around. Hope you have a good afternoon. Keep watching and keep owning.